Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Dinsmore, park manager here at Whipple Dam State Park. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful morning here at Whipple Dam. I see a lot of familiar faces out there, uh, some neighborhood folks, and probably lots of folks that have been uh, fish, trout fishing here since they were this high, including the ones that are currently this high. So nice to see, nice we had such a beautiful day for it. Uh, on behalf of the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, I'd like to welcome you to our park for what will be a great moment for the anglers who enjoy Whipple Lake as their favorite trout fishing destination. I'd like to recognize our partners uh, from the Fishing Boat Commission and the Benner uh, Spring State Fish Hatchery. Uh, they've come with a truckload of beautiful trout that we'll be stocking into the lake in just a few minutes. Got the truck right over here ready to go. Uh, today I'm joined by Waterways Conservation Officer Kyle Robinson, who will provide an update on uh, spring trout season and also uh, Area Fisheries Manager Brian Chakotis, who will also provide us with some details about the restocking plan here at the lake, uh, not just for the trout, but also the warm water species for later on. First, I'd like to give you a, just a little bit of background on Whipple Dam State Park. Uh, so, Whipple Dam State Park, uh, there was a dam here, just downstream of here, uh, going back to 1868 when Osgood Whipple built a sawmill dam here and it's basically been a recreation spot since then. Uh, Department of Forest and Waters built another dam a little upstream back in 1927, and then the current dam that you see here now is uh, constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1935. Uh, so people have been coming out here to recreate for a very long time, generations and, ge and generations going back. And uh, to one thing about man-made lakes people are not always aware of is they, they take some maintenance, some uh, serious and expensive maintenance. It's been recognized for a long time prior to the project we just completed that uh, Whipple Lake was impaired as a, as a fishery and also for recreation by the amount of accumulated sediment. Uh, so in the past year or so we undertook a project to remove 40,000 yards of accumulated sediment, uh, construct a fishing pier you can see in the background, do repairs to the dam, uh, repave most of the surfaces in the park, uh, new uh, uh, accessible uh, beach rail over there. So lots of good improvements to the park. We expect it to be very busy in the coming season, uh, which we like to see everybody out enjoying their parks. Uh, so a little background on Whipple Dam. And also I'd like to really uh, honestly thank um, Brian and Mike Schwartz who rewrote the habitat plan, uh, fish and uh, Brian who helped with the fish salvage operation. Uh, we've Fishing Boat has been wonderful partners in uh, making this, bringing this lake back to life and uh, making it better for recreation. So with that, I'll hand things over to Waterways Conservation Officer Kyle Robinson. All right, good morning everybody. I'm Waterways Conservation Officer Kyle Robinson. As we prepare to stock some beautiful brook and brown trout today, um, it's just how excited I am to see everybody here um, in preparation of our opening days coming and being able to open up this world-class fishery. This year there have been some changes to the trout season you might know of. On Saturday, March 27th, there will be a single statewide mentored youth fishing day. Um, this day begins at 8 a.m. and it gives kids the head start on the fishing. They get to beat the crowds and either have a voluntary youth fishing license or a free mentored youth fishing permit. Young anglers must be accompanied by a licensed adult angler. On this day, youth anglers can keep up to two trout and adults cannot keep any. Again, can, adults can fish but cannot keep any. Um, just please remember, this day is all about the kids. Um, we want to see them out and about having fun and adults are there to support and help them enjoy that beautiful day of fishing. To provide the best mentoring experience, please abide by our social distancing guidelines as we suggest, of course, you only have one adult to one child um, to help abide by those. And then the following Saturday on Saturday, April 3rd, is gonna be our statewide opening day. All anglers are welcome to fish and keep trout beginning at 8 a.m. While we encourage everyone to come out and enjoy themselves, we must continue again by the social distancing policies that have been set. At this point in the pandemic, we all know that we need to keep ourselves and everyone safe around us. And we ask that everyone be courteous to each other while fishing. So don't encroach on each other's personal space. Just get everybody the room to enjoy the day and have fun. Um, help, please help keep our parks and our natural areas clean. Whatever you bring in, take out. Um, and please don't litter. If you plan to boat this season, uh, we remind you that from November 1st until April 30th is you must wear a mandatory life jacket, a personal flotation device for any boat less than 16 feet in length. Um, you can buy, also you need to have your state issued fishing license. You can buy that online 
at fishingboat.com or at any of our local vendors so you can support our local businesses also. Uh, most of all I want to stress is during this time of year, please be safe, have fun, and enjoy the natural resources. And I hope everybody can enjoy the opening day of trout if it's mentored youth or our statewide opening day. Um, now at this time I'd like to introduce Area Fishing Areas Fisheries Manager, Ryan Chicotis. Thank you. Hello every Hello everyone. My name is Brian Chicotis. I'm the area fisheries manager for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission's uh, South Central Fisheries Management Region. I'm responsible for the fisheries management activities here at Whipple Lake. And in a few minutes, we'll be uh, stocking some really beautiful brook trout at Whipple Lake, uh, making it the first time the lake's been stocked in the spring with trout since 2019. But while our popular uh, trout stocking program is a keystone uh, to Pennsylvania's uh, fishing tradition, it represents one of the pieces to the lake's overall fishery uh, for recreational angling. To begin, we stock trout in the lake to provide anglers with immediate fishing opportunities during the traditional spring trout fishing season, with the intention for all anglers and families to enjoy. But on the other hand, Whipple Lake can support a diverse warm water and cool water fishery to include species like largemouth bass, bluegill, black crappie, yellow perch, and chain pickerel. And when we, in the, and when we introduce these species in balanced numbers, uh, their populations can support self supporting reproducing populations um, for anglers to enjoy uh, during other times of the year when uh, trout fishing slows down. And so whenever we start uh, with a recently refilled lake, uh, the Fish and Boat Commission's area manager, which is, which is myself, we develop a multi-year uh, restocking plan of warm water and cool water species that were typically present prior to the, to, to the lake being drawn down. And we protect those, uh, those stockings of immature fish so they can develop to become adult fish that can reproduce and support self-supporting populations. So last January, in anticipation of the lake's reopening, uh, our Board of Commissioners adopted a catch and release regulation for all species except trout. And this regulation is temporary. And it's meant to allow those warm water fish stockings uh, for those fish to grow up, survive, reach maturity, reproduce, and support self-supporting populations. This summer, we'll be stocking hundreds of largemouth bass, as well as thousands of minnows, uh, followed by bluegill, black crappie, yellow perch, and chain pickerel. And then we'll come in periodically and assess those stockings to see what the fish community looks like, what the abundance of fish is, what the size structure of the sport fish is as well as their growth rates. What's really interesting is that when we stock fish in a new lake environment, we have this sudden release of nutrients that fuels a very robust food pyramid that benefits fish. So when we put these warm water fish in, they're going to they're gonna hopefully do really well because there's a lack of, of predators there and uh, there's going to be a lot of nutrients and a lot of food for them to eat. So we're going to see probably pretty fast uh, growth rates. And when, we, when our survey results reveal that there's a sufficient sport fish population here that's worthwhile for anglers, we're going to remove the catch and release regulations and shift the lake into some other type of management, whether that be the statewide uh, inland regulations or some other form of regulation that, that would allow some harvest of these sport fish as a management tool to maintain the quality of the fishery. And this process usually takes about five years, but in some other lakes that I've, I have experience with, it could take as many as six or seven. It all depends on the lake and the development of the fishery. So, uh, so while many anglers are biting at the bit to go out here and catch a, a trophy largemouth bass or the sit and catch panfish on a nice summer day, uh, we need to understand that uh, nature takes its time and fish need time to grow from little fish to big fish and to quality fish that anglers can target. So uh, please understand that uh, uh, nature takes time and we appreciate your support and your patience in this process as we return to work to bring Whipple Lake back to its former self.
Thank you. Thank you.